we're going to be talking about the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 10R. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, I'm Ben. Today I'm talking about the iPhone 10 and the 10R and what's happening with them and what's been happening with them recently as well. So let's get started and right into the video. So recently I've seen reports online from people basically saying that the iPhone 10R production isn't isn't doing very well and Apple are now slowing it down. Now basically I read this and I thought well, that's exactly the same thing they said last year with the iPhone 10 as well. So, I really don't think it's something to worry about because they said the same last year with the iPhone 10 and I'll probably say it's the same next year as well. But apparently the iPhone 10 R wasn't doing as good as Apple expected and now they are slowing production down a little bit as well. I would also like to talk about the 10s and 10s Max and the iPhone 10 too because we could be seeing the iPhone 10 come back out in some stores soon because the iPhone 10 and uh, the iPhone 10s and 10s Max is simply not doing as good as Apple thought and they it, you know it's just not a good upgrade to this phone because this phone's brilliant and there's barely any changes to the iPhone 10s and 10s Max I'll list a few quick ones that's basically IP68 waterproof new uh, a, a better battery life a uh, new processor like you get every year with iPhones and a, well basically the processor is too powerful now and you can basically um, get a less powerful powerful one in a computer for the same price as that iPhone so it's getting quite ridiculous now and I'd like to link a video down below of someone saying I've forgotten the name of the YouTuber now I'm so sorry I'll link it though and it's basically complaining about how the 10 is completely rubbish and completely crap and stuff and the sales are doing bad and Apple are bringing this out uh, go and have a look it's actually an interesting video a few of the points are a bit you know a bit unfair because uh, he's judging the phone by the specs and that's not really right but apart from that it's a good video go check it out and then come back to this video after or watch that video after you've watched mine so yeah as I was saying the iPhone 10 could be coming back out soon now retailers like John Lewis and Argos are still selling it for an overduced price because they obviously need to get rid of stock but Apple could be starting production of this phone up soon they could be doing it right now Basically, because they ordered a load of parts and screens and stuff in from Samsung, and they have they've got loads of leftovers, so they basically need to use them up. And they're and also it's a good excuse because the other new phone production isn't doing as good. Now, before you say anything, no, this won't be. They probably won't be seen in Apple stores. You probably won't be able to buy one directly from Apple, or maybe not even on the website. You will only be able to get them in selected countries, so probably not the UK or the US either, but smaller countries and um, other countries around the world so I will I will update you if this actually does happen I'll be surprised if Apple actually does this because it's like a phone they've basically removed all mentions of from their website so yeah I'd be really surprised if they actually did that so you can I'll leave a link down below to a, one of the reports but it's basically saying that the iPhone XR isn't doing as well and I don't know why because it's basically the same price as the iPhone 7 when it came out and the iPhone 8 I think as well don't get me don't hold me on that but I think that's right it's basically the same as the iPhone 7 so two years later you've got way more for your money you've got a full screen a futuristic looking device you've got a top notch processor really fast more powerful than most computers as well on Apple's own devices too and then you've also got um, top notch specs as well apart from the screen and the camera which are a small downgrade but it's like £250 cheaper than the iPhone Tennis Max so obviously it can't be identical and people are saying the iPhone XR screen is rubbish because it's LCD and it's only 720p or something like that. Well, actually, I don't think you should judge it by the specs. I've seen the phone itself. It does look very good. If you have been using OLED, you would notice a difference. So, yeah, that's something maybe to consider if you were to be getting one and you've gone from an OLED screen or an OLED phone. But apart from that, there's not really any there's not really any major um, downsides to getting the iPhone XR. And I'll probably do a kind of good and bad point. Uh, video soon as well if you guys do want that so let's yeah that's basically it so would you like to see the iPhone 10 come back out again and to be honest if the price is reduced a little bit so why it needs to be cheaper than the iPhone well I don't know it should be similar price to the iPhone 10R because this has got a better screen and maybe a little bit better camera I don't actually know probably better camera 
but it's got a better internals and more um, future proof as well so you you know you've got to consider the price here as well would you get this one year old phone over this brand new few month old phone that has a few downsides and um, letdowns to it as well so you've got to consider that too so I think that this is going to be good coming out in certain countries obviously not around the world in every country but in certain countries this would do good so and they do need to get rid of the parts they've left over as well so there you go guys hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in another one goodbye